Well, we've got some graduates. Timothy. Timothy, did you actually make it? <laughs> Somebody told me he's, he's on ice. Time or two. About four. Three, four times. <laughs> anyway, how was it? Make this thing. Well, um, I came out here really broke and um, disturbed at myself. And, um, but I wanted a change. But I didn't plan on coming this far. I'm like 16 hours away. But I was, I mean, I was praying for a change, and uh, I never knew I was gonna come this far. And, uh, God allowed me to come this far, and I was obedient in my um, drug um, addiction, and um, I wanted to clean myself up because um, I knew it was a better life than what God had for me, than what I put myself in at that time. That He said He was gonna come and um, and take me to a place, but. I didn't, when I came here, I was like, wow. Uh, it was the enemy telling me, wow, but it was, it was a great thing. I came, when I got here, um, the devil, he was, I thought everybody was against me, you know, and that was the spirit that when, um, and it took prayer and um, just listening to the gospel. It's not one night I didn't go to sleep with the radio on. Listen to um to church to church music, you know. So I couldn't do it by myself, you know. I had some roommates that was listening to some crazy stuff, and I and I wanted to um, go upside the head, you know, being a little man. But um, I, I really wanted a change, and um and it was just prayer, you know. And it's the fight of faith, like Pastor Walt he's talking about, you know. And I'm glad he never had to pick up the belt and whip me, and I never had to sing because it was just the grace of God. Moses, he, he, um, he mentored me, Pastor Daniel and Ricardo, you know, security, James, Eric, all, all my brothers. Um, I'm bad with names. Luis, you know, um, JC, his mentor, going to the the gym, man, it's just, I have to surrender, you know, and I, and I didn't want to surrender, but I, um, I really, I really wanted this, and I want to um, do so much for this church and put, and put in time the best I can, and just, um, I know my family's not here, my, my, my dad, he um, came back in my life, and my sisters, and um, I came out here so back, you know, but I always had a good heart, but um, it's just faith. I planted a seed. When I got here, um, I stopped. I didn't want to be here. I told myself, I told my mom, I'm only, I'm only going to be here a month, a month. I'm not going down here for, you know, for six months. When I got here, Pastor Walt was like, six months? I was like, wow. But, um, you know, prayer, you know, and it's just trusting in God, you um, know. That's what made me get this far, you know. Um, and I'm just thankful, and I can keep going, but you know, I got a long ways to go, and God gonna, um, he gonna keep, he gonna keep going. Now remember, I'm old, and I still got a long ways to go. So you're young, you got a long, long, long ways to go. What are you gonna do now? Um, hopefully they let me go to second phase. Yeah. Why would they not let you go to second phase? Well, if it's, it's God's, if it's God's will, I'm going to be happy. And I'm, and I'm, I'm blessed that uh, I'm delivered. That's the main thing. You got a yellow badge already, bro. Well, you, you still have a cookie because you ain't done yet, evidently. They're going to cook you and cook you and then that's the Holy Spirit right there yet. Yes, sir. Was this place fun? It was awesome. Um, 
I let everything, all my fears, I left everything behind me. That's when it got fun. I just, I surrendered, you know. The devil didn't want me to surrender, you know, but I stepped on his throat till his tongue came out. Man, you, you're all color coordinated there. Yeah, I, I, okay, is the devil with a sheep wear red too? I don't know. I've never seen him. <laughs> oh, you see pictures of the devil. What do you see? I see red horns, fires. but. Oh, you ain't got no horns. <laughs> you know, this is funny. A bunch of guys come in this morning and says, Timothy's graduated? <laughs> Praise sure. God. You know, I, I can see you. Catching fire like some of these guys in the kitchen when God puts something in your heart that you're good at, I can just see you just getting on fire. So that's just all I can say to everybody, just hang in there. This God's ball game, my heart. There it is. Man, before I got here, I, you know, I've, I've been in halfway houses, I've been, I've tried 12-step programs, and the second that I got here from jail, man, just God got a ha his hand on me, and he hasn't let go since. Durango. Durango. Yes, I know, Gator. Yes. It was good, though. I mean, you know, out of a lot of things, I've, out of my overdoses, my mom and my child are here, my mom's address. Mom and Jaden, stand up. Yeah. She's right there. Yeah. But my mom and my dad were you know what I mean? And I put her through a lot of things, but you know, God, I, I'm completely sold out to God right now. I'm not going to give up at all. So, yeah. You know, I can see him doing the same thing. God, you know, he just keeps going about his business, yeah. just like the rest of us. All of a sudden, God's going to put something in his heart. He's going to turn, he's going to catch it. He's on fire because God's chosen me and called me. Yes. And I'm on fire. I want to do what God wants me to do. And then when you start doing that, then you start feeling productive. And you ain't a pile of junk. You might have made mistakes in the past, but I'm telling you something. You get that heart to work, even that old guy there, he's going to be driving a bus on. He's an old guy. So just, can you just write down the guy just as uh, anticipation? What do you do now? Okay, you ain't done for years, huh? What would you like to say to everybody? Man, I want to say I know there's a lot of rules and stuff here for you guys. You know, security and RAs do a really good job. It's a busy job. But, man, just if you guys keep your eyes focused on Jesus, man, this whole time, no matter what's going on, the rules, all that stuff, just stay focused, dude. That's all you have to do is stay focused and keep God right in front of you the whole time. Amen. Amen. Mike Pike. Hello, man. How do you pronounce your name? Um, Berman. Good to meet you. I get my thumbnail twisted. How was it? Um, it was awesome. Um, I just, there was good times, bad times, and but through it all, like, I loved it. I loved it. It's a life changing experience for me. And, uh, you know, I got to, I, I, I just, it was amazing. We need it out. Second phase. All right. What do you feel like God's calling you to do? At the moment, um, that's what I'm debating on. Like, well, for now, it's second phase. I'm just going to stay, stay to being an RA and see how that goes from there. How do you like being an RA? I love working with the people. Helping them. Are you a mean one? Is she a mean RA? No. no. He's the cool one. What's that? He's the cool one. <laughs> hey, that, that, that good man in the kitchen said you're a cool one. How about some of the rest of you? Is she a good one? Is she fair? That's fair. That's the neatest thing. That's, they hold you accountable? Yeah. That's excellent. You can do that. That's good. You can do that in the same way. Yes. All right. What would you like to tell everybody? Just want to tell everybody that it ain't easy. Like, like I, when I'm talking about experience, it wasn't easy to go through the whole program, you know. But 
I just, I knew there was a plan. God has a great plan for all of us. That's why we're all here, blessed to be here. And uh, just keep on going, just fight the good fight and, you know, just keep going. Stay strong. I just had a thought. I dearly love my wife. And I love marriage, but just like what he said, it's a struggle, it's a battle. <laughs> How many know what I'm talking about? You just heard her. No. God bless you guys. Give the Lord a hit. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait.